Good evening, students. Welcome to the information session for the Nuclear Medicine Technology Program. Are you interested in science and technology? Do you like the idea of working with specialized equipment? Are you sensitive to the needs of sick and or injured patients? And can you maintain a high level of accuracy in your work? If you can visualize all these qualities in yourself, then you might measure up to the career as a nuclear medicine technologist. So what is nuclear medicine? Nuclear medicine is the branch of medical imaging concerned with the use of radioisotopes in the diagnosis, management, and treatment of disease. Physiology is the key component for the process of diagnosing and treating the patient with radioactive substances. Radioactivity. A substance is radioactive when the atoms become excited, either naturally or artificially. This excitement produces energy that is detectable with our equipment. The patients will be administered radioactive materials by injection, inhalation, and even ingestion. The physiology of the organ of interest can then be studied through imaging of the energy being emitted from the patient. Technologist. The difference between a technician and a technologist. A technician knows what we do, but a technologist knows why we do what we do. Upon completion of this program, you will be eligible to take the NMTCB and the ARRT NM boards to become a certified and registered nuclear medicine technologist. The Midlands Technical College Nuclear Medicine Program is a post-degree one-year advanced certificate. One must have a degree or be working on completing a degree to apply. All prerequisite courses must be completed before all nuclear medicine courses are taken. This means before the fall semester. Students do not have to complete a radiologic technology or x-ray program to be accepted or successful in the nuclear medicine program. The application criteria for the nuclear medicine program is to be a current MTC student, you've met with an academic advisor, have an academic plan showing all prereqs will be completed prior to the fall semester, you must have a current GPA of equal to or more than a 2.75, a bachelor with the prerequisites, an associates with the prerequisites, or an associates in applied science in process, all with a cumulative GPA. Hi, my name is Sonia. And I'm Zoe. And we are Nuclear Medicine Technologists. At Royal Perth Hospital. All right, what I'll get you to do is to lie down again for me, head on the pillow. Just bring, bring your body towards me a little I bit. I really, really see. enjoyed maths at school and really, really wanted to pursue something with that. But when I looked at those careers, they were all things that involved not that much person-to-person -person contact. I wasn't keen on sitting at a computer all day or doing calculations all day. I really wanted to work with people and this is the ideal job for it. I could combine um, my love of maths, which I suppose not a lot of people have, <laughs> but yeah, my love of maths with this job, which yeah, I really enjoy and everything else about it as well. Now you're having a heart scan. Have you ever had one done before? No. No? Okay. What this test does is it looks at um, how your heart's beating, how it's functioning. Okay. Now is this arm okay to use for injections? Yeah, that's fine. Small sting coming up, Sally. There we go, that's the worst part done. So I'm just going to make up what we call MAG3, which is a renal tracer. So it's to image the kidneys. So for this particular kit, we need two gigabecks. So it's saying that we've got 7.57 gigabecks. And if I refer to my little notes, we've got about 5.7 mils in that vial. So from there you've got to calculate the volume you've got to draw up to get a certain amount of activity. People automatically think radiation, Chernobyl, 
by the time you get to actually working on the job, it's second nature, it's always in the back of your mind and you can't be scared of it, but you've got to treat it with respect. After six hours, half of what we put into you, the radiation, half of that will be gone. So if you want to eliminate it quickly from your body, the best thing you can do is have lots of fluids to drink. So the more you drink, the faster you'll get rid of your radiation. Okay. Underway. This is the process data, so this is coming straight off the camera. It's been um, summed into a whole lot of projections and turned into that 3D picture. This is the heart and the stress state. They've got a little bit of non activity in that region. Our decisions, our diagnosis can decide what management they have. They're a little one step closer to a, a healthier life. This patient had a knee replacement and now he's having ongoing pain, so we're assessing to see, um, it would be anything like if he's got infection, if that would be the source of his pain, if he's got inflammation. That's his left knee there and you can see uh, it's not bright like the other knee because there's no bone there because that's where they've replaced the bone. That area there is what we call quite hot, which means there's a lot of counts, a lot of radiation being emitted from there, so that could be anything like um, infection or a fracture or something like that. Time management and organisation is imperative. It's something you learn with the more experience you have. You get better at knowing, OK, I think this is going to take this long. I better move this patient onto this camera. And it's definitely something that you improve with. And it's also something that by watching the more experienced technologists, I find that's a really good way of learning um, sort of, you know, little organisational tips and things. But it's just something you get used to and it sort of becomes second nature. One of the hardest parts of our job is probably when you're doing a scan and you can see the results before your eyes, even before the doctors reported the scan, you can see that the prognosis isn't good. When they ask you, oh, is my scan okay? Or did you see anything? We're not allowed to tell them anything. And if you have one that's um, quite calm about it, then you can get out of it easily. But you do get the ones that won't leave you alone and that, that can get a bit awkward. But once again, that's something you get used to with experience. I have this motto, Patients never remember what you did, patients never remember what you say, but they'll always remember how you made them feel. If you make someone feel uncomfortable, that's it. See you later. They won't come back to us. They're, they'll tell all their friends that it wasn't a cool experience. They do come down and, and feel like someone's actually listening to them and yeah. someone actually cares about their well-being, especially when they tell you or you tell a fellow staff member that you've done a good job. That's a great feeling. The use of pig lungs illustrates the anatomy and physiology of the respiratory system. To understand cardiac imaging, pig hearts are dissected to illustrate the actual slices of the nuclear medicine images. The blood flow through the heart is studied and the hands-on lab has proven to increase the understanding of the vasculature of the heart. Linear energy transfer, or LET, is demonstrated by using the beach ball, which represents the alpha particle, the green ball, which is smaller than the beach ball, representing the beta particle, moves farther into the tissue, and the electron, which is the marble, it can go all the way through the tissue without the attenuation. Many labs are performed in the nuclear medicine program. Calculations and the use of equations learned will be demonstrated using radioactive materials and lab equipment, such as the Geiger-Muller counter 
and the dose calibrator. The protection from radioactive materials is seen and calculated using time, distance, and shielding to show the importance of ALARA. As low as reasonably achievable for both you and your patient. Remember, you can get anywhere from here at Midlands Technical College, Columbia, South Carolina.